Hey, what's going on? Watch us react, gang. I'm your host, Rick, and today I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Freddy. On um, today, unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties, so the setting is a little bit different, but we're still gonna be reacting to the latest Resident Evil episode, episode five. Uh, Fred, um, uh, you listen, listen different setting but nothing has changed because you still don't like resident evil the series right and what what are right. you hoping for what, what what do you what do you want from this uh episode today so uh so as y'all saw i walked out at the end of uh episode four i just i just couldn't do it i couldn't do it and we, when we started talking about the episode itself i was like nah this ain't it um I, I don't know at this point. Just do something. Like, you know, entice me now. <laughs> like, uh, the next episode is called Home Movies. So it sounds like something, I don't know, maybe they find something that they see. Maybe it's something that, um, you know, clues about what's going on. Maybe, maybe it is very Resident Evil. Home Movies, when I think Home Movies, I'm thinking Resident Evil 1, when they found the tapes of... Um, these people getting killed by the dogs. You know, Resident Evil 2, when they found the tapes of William Birkin turning into to G-Virus and getting rid of all those Umbrella Soldiers, right? So hopefully this is what we're going to get for home movies. I swear it better be what we get from home movies. <laughs> that, I mean, that's all I got. <laughs> it, it's, it's, been, it's been a rough watch. You know, I've been... Just really trying to give this show the benefit of the doubt, but it has been just kind of, uh, it's kind of been a, it's been a mixed bag, yeah. you know, with episode three being very Resident Evil-esque. Right. And then we had Resident Evil 4, which just kind of threw us all off again. And now we're up to episode five. five. Yes. So before we get to our Watch Us React goodness, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all your Watch Us React goodness. Yes. So without further ado... Let's get into Resident uh, Evil. Let's get into it. Here we go. Cut it out. <laughs> it's a foot. Those are some heavy knee pads. Yeah, those <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, we gotta build it. We gotta build it. <laughs> we gotta build it, friend. <laughs> Listen, definitely someone from her past. It has to be. My man got an iPhone Android. You got a <laughs> he got an iDroid. That's oh. crazy. Yo, she's looking for you. My man say yo. <laughs> yo dogs. <laughs> yo dogs. Yo dogs. Evelyn is looking for y'all. <laughs> What's all this? This is a new character, right? We didn't see the other guy before. Evelyn, what's going on? Do you know this man? The guy who said, yo? Yeah. Why would I? Because yeah, he, he was he was there us. in the last episode. He's like the Tijuana. like the lead see, the head of security. Wouldn't be oh. an issue. And I can admit when I'm wrong. Conspiracy <laughs> freaks and fortune virgins. Or both. Usually it's both. You see, Sometimes they say a line. Move your nose, we move joy to and then they say something <laughs> stupid Somehow, right after. <laughs> he knows we've had a problem. Oh. So, it's time for old Albert to come out and play. Old Albert? Old Albert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. It wasn't that time, bro. You, you, you're good. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> I know your daughters. Uh, why would why why would you say that? There he is. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, why would you say that? City and nothing says right, it like it sounded menacing. Like he was like, say, your daughters. say it like that to any father, and watch what happens. <laughs> right, I'm just like word. Because I'm like, why would that be your bargaining chip? I'm happy. <laughs> I know your daughters. I'm right, I'm like, what? Are you, I'm tied up. Like, <laughs> why? Why he say I could help your daughters or something right, like that? Right. Right. About Tijuana. Say that again. Why she said that so weird? Tijuana. 
that. I, I, want, <laughs> I want to rewind it, but why should why, why she say this over Please be with me on this. And can't you go to like DMV.org just to do that at this point? Like Clearly, because <laughs> there has to be a DMV now. Like, <laughs> right. <it's> just, <laughs> so I'm talking about Rick and Morty. I'm like, right. <laughs> you're, you're in this world, so. <laughs> All of the, I found a dog whistle, and this is for a gun? That's cool. Dad hates guns. Uh, the dog whistle call back to RE1 remake. What's this? Well, now we're getting oh, into some I'm Resident sh- Evil territory, okay? Nah. <laughs> Let me set up a little bit. Umbrella, like they wouldn't nuke people? <laughs> no. I don't know. But you want to <laughs> know. And you want to help me? He's like, oh. nah. Hi. Well, <laughs> right, Dad. like. He's not gonna help us. Wait. Damn. My man's already in the mainframe, bro. He's already in the system. Like he's just ready. It's, it's just there. <laughs> he's just ready to hack shit. Like it's just. <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> Alt tab, y'all. Yeah. Mostly just research articles. A lot of stuff by some guy named William Birkin. And webwise, he's oh. got MSNBC and Science Daily bookmarked. And then the rest of it is just old people shits like credit cards, bikes, car insurance. Wait a minute, why are you caring about whether it's legal or not? You broke into an right. abortion facility. Right. Right, it's done. It's going not the morals hitting. My man said it's done. Second problem. Yeah, problem. Bro, we're about to go into an episode of Metal Gear Solid. That's what it's reminding me of, bro. That's Shadow Moses right now. Right. Why are you doing this? I mean, yeah, she's hot, but she's not felony hot. Here we got some stuff. We got William Birkin. We have a right. mysterious. Thermostat. What? Keep low. Bro, the stairs are clear. Lower. That's glass. How did they do that? <laughs> Seriously? But why is this such a big deal? It's their house. Dad always because they're trying to leave the house without raising suspicion. What is happening, bro? They're parkouring? <laughs> <laughs> parkour. <laughs> <laughs> like the office. Right. Parkour. Oh, here's that. Yo, I'm done with this show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to open a door to a golden crest. It is. <laughs> Map to mansion first floor. <laughs> I love what they're doing. It's like, but when they have that teenage romance conversation between it, it kind of like pulls out that mystery that they're trying to right. give. She's holding the phone like Z. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just hung up on him. Like, <laughs> you already have me. <laughs> Bag, right? That they were talking about. Mm-hmm. The passports? Oh, okay. Separate identities if they had to leave. Cash. Mm. Like. I mean, not separate, but different. Ten grand. Shit. Damn, you already knew it was ten grand? Yeah. I would have to count it. Yeah, turn him off, bro. I'm like immersed right now. Yeah, I'm in there. I just thought I was done. Oh, maybe. Dad trusts me because he knows I'm not the fuck up. Ooh. Lying about everything all the time. Ooh. You're barely passing. You took a. You did that because you wanted. I'm. To. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. <laughs> Wasn't he on mute? 
<laughs> right. I guess he saw them oh, getting yeah, into yeah. each other's face. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, all right. She turned it off. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. It's a good, it's a good scene. This is good. A, this, <laughs> like so far, the whole we haven't even gone to the future, and that's what's so good about it. House. Let's say, hmm, important papers. Where would I? Still, if your field of view on your camera is that limited, yeah, there's no there's point, no in point having in having that camera. <laughs> I'm a little parched. I need some water. <laughs> this, is this is good. This is good. Call the dog. Chip implanted into something. I'm calling now. What are you doing? Put your hands. Chip, hey, maybe you can try it this way. Get, get off me. <laughs> Everybody's got a spare, right? I, he's <laughs> he's bothering me he's, <laughs> because he's like a smile. He's just right. he's just talking head, just like. <laughs> I knew it, bro. They're calling the dog. I knew it. <laughs> Once they said chip, you know how many people get chips and dogs, bro? That house is not that big for them to use that dog with. So, I mean, bro. you wouldn't be able to find that small right. baby. It's a, little small, it's a small dog. <laughs> if we cut out all his lines, this shit would have been amazing. Yeah, he's just the talking head, bro. That was cute. He's, like, he's just down the camera like... <laughs> Cute. It's so cute. Speaking of camp, oh. bro, their service is outstanding. I need their phone service. Definitely not T-Mobile. So I got T-Mobile. So do I. Oh, there we go. See? Okay. No, but like on, 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 I'm, I'm enjoying this episode. Even though I'm talking mad shit about it. They can still fuck up. Come on, bro. Wow, he has a whole research facility. Well, Ooh, find the tapes. I think we're gonna find some tapes, bro. Please. <laughs> <laughs> home home videos. Right. <laughs> there you go. I think I have one of those. Is that a what was that called again? This is a xylophone. Is that a xylophone? Comment down below if it is a xylophone. Right. Is it spelled with the X? Right. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the uh. What's that? Torture chair. The torture chair. I don't know. This episode. I'm nervous. You're right. I'm, I'm, nervous. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm shaking my leg. I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, so he goes down here. Yes. I always thought he was doing it in the facility, but he's actually doing it in his, in his own home. In his office. I mean, his basement. His basement. In 1998. Oh. Mm. Tape. City. <laughs> Oh, Lisa Trevor. Uh, no. Let's see, let's see. Oh Hold my on. God. Okay, okay. Let's let's. Dad. You see the leather jacket. Yep. Did you, you see the leather jacket? I see the leather jacket. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ejected with the G. Yup. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You're right. Let's go. Chair was set up for her. Burn sequence initiated. Shit. 30 seconds. Burn sequence. Mm. Yeah, you, you time for you to get out. Why well, did I can override maybe? I don't know. Nah, he has no connection down there. Probably Wesker. I'm your oh. fucking father, and you do what you're fucking told! <laughs> oh, oh, shit, are you... Yo, are you... No, oh no! Oh, they tied him up. Yep, he's in the chair. What does that mean? It means... I made you strong. Okay. In an you're right. But I still need to know. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but still, that ain't that, 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 that's beside, Tell me. Right, that's besides the point. Mm. Mm, you know what that means? <laughs> that's how you call it. <laughs> you know what that means? Protect you. <laughs> you know 
God, I love this actor, bro. Like, yeah, he's good. He's, he's so, so good. good. He is so good. Stay safe. <laughs> my man, my man just said, "Stay safe." <laughs> See, I can't. <laughs> Ooh, by any means, Ooh, man. more like this. Goosebumps, bro. Yo, this... me too, bro. <laughs> Yo, that Yo, is. This, that... this is how you do it. <laughs> Yo. Nope, 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 nope. We have things to talk about. We have, we have things to talk about. We have things to talk about. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, Fred. All right. This has become my favorite episode now. Like, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. This has been the most Resident Evil that this show has been. And there was not one monster. There was no going back and forth, right? You only had that beginning part to remind you how episode four ended. And then the very end part to finish, you know, what that started. This episode, besides the boyfriend thing, is the best one-to-one -one ratio of what Resident Evil is. And I, I just... I don't know. That was really good. What do, what do you think? I, I have no other words. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I mean, oh, man. Okay. So that that episode, I'm in agreement with you. I am not. I am totally in agreement with you. That episode just, it was done so well. I mean, the not going back and forth yes. made the show so much different for me as a viewer. It made the show so much different and it gave it more. It gave that reveal at the end. Yes. It gave it so much weight when you found out they found out everything together. I'm getting like little goosebumps. Right. They found out everything together. And then Billy is the one who's leading Umbrella's special forces. Right. That was Yo. so well done. Even my favorite scene is when Billy and Jade are having that conversation. Like, they're having that tension. They're having that moment. Yeah. And it felt like a genuine sister sibling moment. Right. Like right. you are like, there's, there's this there. And there's like, they established that Billy is kind of like the favorite yeah. in a way. In and a there's way. like, there's, there's like tension there and like fighting for like Jade doesn't want to act like she's not fighting for her father's affection, but it kind of showed through because she was like, you know, all, you know, they, she left, he left you the bag. He left you the information. Right. And then Billy's like with the rebuttal of like maybe he knows I'm not the fuck up. So it just showed that. But that built everything to that very final scene. Yep. To when you see Billy like right there is just like and so. And then it, they have this uh, this uh, more orchestrated version of Moonlight Sonata playing in the background, right? And and it did wonders because we just heard a regular piano version. Of Moonlight Sonata when they found the note in the piano. So to hear it come back at the very ending, but with that strong orchestrated emotional like 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 attachment to it, and then you see the reveal of Billy and Jade's reaction, you're just like This is so this is this this right here is Resident Evil. This right again, I will say it again, not one monster. Not one zombie, not one liquor, nobody yelling at each other. It's just two people trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And and we got Lisa, right? So they revealed, uh, well, they didn't reveal the G-Virus, but it kind of showed that eyeball, right? Everybody knows that eyeball is Resident Evil 2. Right. Um, we saw a, a, a man in a, in a jacket, and, and Wesker was saying, he was like, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was somebody else. And, it, yo, this whole, you see, yeah, this is, that's it. This is good, man. I, I this has become my favorite episode of, of the whole series so far. Yeah, I got to agree. I think, you know, the show, I think the show just showed us, the show just showed us 
what happens when you dial it back right and you're not trying to show 20 million things that are happening in one time and you concentrate intently on like a character or character story leading to that very moment with the reveal at the end and i think from there beautiful, beautiful. i think yes. it was just it gave it more weight by doing it like that so now we're at a point where now do we go back to the past do we stay in the future right. like what happens now we already have the big reveal of billy and umbrella which you know i called in the beginning of the show yes you did yes you did billy was still alive billy was still cognitive billy was able to you know harness you know the virus right clearly but she looks like she has some disfigured like on her skin look like it was like burned yeah so i don't know if that's part of the virus i don't know if that's just some kind of uh you know some mutation but man this has to be one of my favorite this is my one of my favorite episodes yeah. i i totally give it to you i think it was done well except for little cheesy moments with the stairs and the jumping to the couch or whatever right. but aside from that i think it was <laughs> i think it was i think it was one of the stronger episodes Absolutely. um i'm very excited about the next one but we don't know i am excited and, and don't know. it's like all right man you did this you did this right let's go into the next episode right i hope it goes into the next episode right and y'all already know, watch this react gang. You can catch us on the next episode the week after this one drops. Am I correct? Yeah. Right, because we have. Yeah, so we would be yeah, so, maybe like a week after, right, right? So, gang, let us know what you thought about episode five. Let us know what you thought about the Moonlight Sonata, the dog whistle, all the little tidbits that they did put. This episode was Resident Evil to me. But let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm your boy Fred with your boy Rick. And I'm just so, it's such a good I know episode. It's a, you're, you're, you're emotional. <laughs> I'm emotional. But... <laughs> we out of here. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you later, See guys. You later.